Namaste. Today's sequence is all about your shoulders. Let's get rid of tension, find a little bit more opening so you can breathe and don't have to think about shoulder pain, maybe even going down towards the mid back. What you're going to need for today is a blanket and you need two balls, either tennis balls, fascia balls, they shouldn't be too big. Um, yeah, this is around about the size of a tennis ball, so two tennis balls really is a nice way if you don't have any kind of fascia balls at home. But if you maybe roll with me a little off more often, you maybe already got the balls or you may be planning to do it, so I will drop the link in the description beneath the video so you can you know you can check out if you want to get the balls for yourself and to start just take everything first to the side and lay on your back just lay flat on the floor maybe straighten your legs just do a check in how do I feel today Sometimes it's just nice to do this first moment on the mat and checking in, allowing the body to settle into gravity. I personally really like to do this in my own practice. Instead of rushing on my yoga mat, starting to move and jumping off, <laughs> to take a little time to rest, to breathe, to notice what's going on. And even resisting the urge to move immediately. You can keep your legs straight. I like to bend my knees here, place the feet on the floor, and then just bring your arms down alongside your body. Your lower back is in a natural curve away from the floor, and we simply start to move the arms back. Inhale, and you move the arms back down. Exhale. See if you can frame the movement of your arms with your breath, breathing in and breathing out. this one more time. Inhale, the arms go up and exhale back. Just notice how it feels. Is it easier on one side and the other side? To do the next movement, now you need to bend your legs. So if your legs were still straight, bend your legs now, place your feet on the floor and again feel this naturally curving, naturally curving away of your lower spine. And we're going to move a little bit into, with the arms doing the same movement, but we're adding a movement of the spine. So bring your arms alongside your body. And when you inhale, you curve your spine away from the floor. And when you exhale, bring your arms down, allow your spine to come all the way down, pushing down. Inhale, curve your spine away, like you're doing a little cow stretch here on the floor. And exhale all the way down. Inhale up. Exhale back down. And gently push your spine down into the floor. Inhale, curve your spine away. And exhale, lower your spine all the way down and your arms down. Stay here. Soften your spine. Feel your feet on the floor and push the palm of your hands into the floor a little bit more. And now just rotate your arms out, palms facing up to the ceiling and push your shoulder blades down into the floor. You can feel a lifting here of your chest. And then you lower all the way back down. You roll your palms facing down now I want you to think about the space between your shoulder blades. Push the space down and you can feel it pushing your palms also down while your shoulders are lifting away from the floor. Lower your shoulders down, roll all the way out, 
push your shoulder blades down, lift your chest, palms facing up. Roll all the way your arms back, your palms back down to the floor and push the area between your scapulas down, lift your shoulders up, 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 up and go back and forth a few times. Let it be a natural movement. Feel the opening of the chest and the palms facing up. Feel the closing of the chest, the opening of the upper back and your palms facing down. You can inhale and the palms facing up and exhale and your palms facing down and you lift your shoulders. We'll do this one more time. Inhale and exhale. And now just bring your arms back, soften. And one more time, bring your arms up and behind your head. Maybe you already feel there's a little bit more ease. And slowly, when your arms are back down to the floor, roll over one side and we meet in all fours. So come onto your hands and knees. Spread your fingers wide, have your knees under the hips and start with a cat and cow movement. Rounding and arching your spine. And today I want to think you a little bit differently. So stay with me in the rounded back in your cat stretch next time you're here. Stay here. And now notice your spine. Notice the curving of your spine and allow your spine to drop, to drop down to the floor and allow your back to come into a back bend, shoulder blades away from the ears. And now notice the front body, your belly and your chest. Pull your belly in, lift your chest off the floor and push from your front body, the back body into a cat stretch. Release your back body, spine to the front body and soften into a cow stretch. Pull the belly, chest off the floor, round your back and just kind of dropping your spine down. Feel the movement of the front body when you're rounding, pushing your back body up and softening of the back body, dropping down and the opening of the front body. Do this one more time, round up using your belly, lifting the chest away from the floor and allow your spine to drop and to sink into the cow stretch. Doesn't it feel wonderful? And just move a little bit from side to side. Move your head, move your body, whatever feels nice. Maybe a little bit back. Move your shoulders. And then we slowly come back into stillness. Tuck your toes under. And don't allow your hips to your heels, sorry, your heels to come in. So you really want to tuck your toes under, maybe even walk in your knees back a little bit so you can really feel there's a little stretch happening along the sole of your foot. And inhale here and with your exhale, just push yourself back all the way and come all the way back forward. Exhale with my hands, I'm pushing back and come back forward. Again, you push yourself back and come back into all fours. And one more time back. And into all fours. Stay here, untuck your toes. And now I want to lift the right arm. So you lift your right arm up, reach to the ceiling. And you bring your right arm under your left armpit to thread the needle. Bring your, tuck your chin into the chest. And then again, lift up, inhale. And exhale, coming to thread the needle, chin to chest, right shoulder on the floor. Inhale up. Exhale, right hand under your left armpit, chin to chest a little bit. And inhale one more time up. Exhale all the way down. Stay here for a moment. Maybe you want to use your left hand. Push yourself a little bit more into the twist, breathing in and out. If you feel pain, discomfort in the neck, 
Sometimes it helps to push the right shoulder, the right outer arm a little bit more into the floor. See if this changes anything for you. And then come all the way up. Place your hands on the floor, spread your fingers, wrist on the shoulders, tuck your toes under. Really notice that you're getting a little stretch in the sole of your feet. And then push back one more time. Come forward. Push back. And forward. And push back. And forward. Untuck your toes. Left side, lift your left arm up. And thread your left hand under your right armpit. With your inhalation, you twist up. And with the exhalation, left hand under the right armpit, tuck your chin, left shoulder to the floor. Inhale up. You can follow your hand with your gaze if you like. I like to keep my gaze on my left hand, following it all the time. And one more time, come up. And next time you thread your left arm under your right armpit, stay here. Tuck your chin in. My right hand is in front of my face. I'm pushing a little bit more to bring myself a little bit deeper into the sensations of this twist. Again, if you feel discomfort in the neck, you should either get out of it too much on your neck, but sometimes a little bit of a support by the shoulder, pushing the left shoulder blade into the floor. The left outer arm gives a little bit more, takes a little bit more weight off your neck here, breathing in and breathing out. Come all the way back up. Bring your hands on the floor, tuck your toes under. Maybe you wanna walk your knees back a little bit this time. And again, walk the knees back with your toes tucked under and you wanna have enough space in between your hands and your knees to go into a down dog now. So really lift your hips up and push yourself up and just start to walk your feet really spread your fingers wide breathing in and out come all the way down i just need to tuck my blanket in here because i'm sliding a little bit so, and again we come into a force tuck your toes under lift your hips up and push yourself back lengthen your spine and then you may want to lift the knees a little bit, walking your feet. Bring one heel closer to the floor and the other heel closer to the floor. Keep on spreading your fingers wide, pushing the ball of your thumb, ball of your index finger into the floor. Come all the way back. Keep your toes tucked under, push yourself back. Come back forward into all fours. Arch your spine. Round your spine. Come back to neutral. Tuck your toes under, lift up and push all the way back. First the length in your spine and then straighten your legs. I have my fingers spread wide. The inner elbows are facing each other. Breathing in and out. And bring your knees down. Inhale here, exhale, push your hips back. Come back forward. Arch your spine. Remember the dropping, lift the front body towards the back body, round, come back to neutral. One last time, lift your knees, push first back, lengthen your spine, straighten the legs, start to pedal your feet, breathing in and out. Down dog is such a wonderful practice for the whole body, strengthen the shoulders, spread your fingers wide, crowning the thumb of your the ball of your thumbs and index finger, the inner elbows facing each other and then come all the way down and just come into a little child's pose either with your forearms on the floor or maybe all the way back. Just see what works best for you. Breathe in and out here. Breathe in and out. And slowly come all the way up. 
Do you feel the activation of the shoulders? Nice little flow and now we want to use the balls. The way we're using the balls is between the shoulder blades. So when you take one hand and you go back and you can feel when you bring the elbow back. So when I'm sitting like this and I bring my elbow back, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I can feel the border of my scapula, the inner border, the lowest one. And we want to go to the lowest point, you know, where the scapula starts to move up in between the scapula and the spine of each side. So the balls are moving up a little bit and we are moving down a little bit. So you maybe want to start at the end of your yoga mat. I'm placing my balls together because in the balls there's this sweet shape and this is just enough space for the spine. So you're going to place the body on top of the balls. So you sit in front of the balls and come down. And because we're being here on the forearms first, I often like to use my hands here and try to find you know, the area around. When you think about your prostrap, strap, you're a little bit above the prostrap strap area here to start. And then you just come all the way down. If this is too much for you, you can use the blanket here and support the upper back and the, the neck and the head with the blanket. This is a nice way if you feel you know your chin is really up and you want to have a little support here. If not, just stay here and breathe. This is an intense spot. I'm lying and I would say this is comfortable for me. So I really use my breath here. Just breathing in and out. I'm even started to sway my legs a little bit from side to side. Breathing in and out. Take one more inhale. And exhale to sink. If you're having a loose shirt like I'm having today, you want to pull it down and you just, I'm lifting my upper body, I'm, I'm curving my spine away from the floor and the balls are rolling up a little bit and then I'm lifting my, or adjusting the position of my hips and the balls are rolling a little bit higher and you really can feel now they are really getting into this wonderful space between the scapula and the spine. And if you move your arms up and down a little bit, you maybe even feel the inner edge of your scapula gently pressing against the ball. Just breathe in and out. My elbows are very soft. I'm just very gentle moving my arms to the side, you know, like a bird. Keep on breathing very deeply in and out. And then again, I'm pulling my shirt down, I'm lifting my spine, curving my spine off the floor, the balls are going a little higher, and I'm adjusting the position of my hip, and sometimes I even need to take one hand here because it feels like one ball always likes to go a little bit further up like the other. And then I bring my arms back out to the side, and this time you can bring your arms to the, along the side of your body. My palms are facing down. Let me just lift the arms up, now we have palms facing each other and we do scissors arms. So you bring one arm back and then you just switch and you go slowly from side to side. Maybe you reach the floor behind your head, maybe not. So don't really try to force anything. Just go and see what your body will do. Keep on breathing deeply in and out. Next time your arms are up, lower your arms down. And again, I'm pulling my shirt down, curving my spine away from the floor. The balls are going a little higher and I'm adjusting my hips. And now really when you go, feel the upper edge of your scapula. And now on the upper inner corner of each scapula in between this part and the spine, I have to have seem to have a little bit more tension here today. So oh, just breathe and notice that you don't want to lift your belly off the floor. Soften your belly. 
relax here. Just take one arm up and just reach with the right arm towards the left and then all the way back, maybe going a little halfway towards the floor. Reach all the way across your body and then go halfway out towards the floor and reach across the body and go halfway and now lower your arm all the way down to the floor. Lift the other arm up and when you're being with me and doing the left arm now, just cross your left arm over so the left hand is hovering above the right shoulder and then open, go halfway down to the floor and lift and across the body and lower halfway down to the floor and again lift across the body and next time you go over, you lower all the way down to the floor. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's comfortable, but it feels like it gets a little easier. The body is adjusting, adapting, opening up. And again, I'm putting my shirt down and curving my spine away. The balls are going up a little higher and I'm adjusting my hips. Now I'm really up beneath the deck and here I want you to open the balls a little bit. So bring a little bit more space in between the balls. So there's at least space for two to three fingers. So you're being, when you think about the curve of your neck where it meets the upper shoulder, your right being the back of this curve on each side. And just first find the right position for your balls and your arms alongside your body. And now we do again the scissor arm, so you bring your arms up and you just move one arm back and the other arm down. And you go a few times with your arms up and down. I have a harder time to reach the floor here. First, because of the position of the balls for sure. And also because I have much more tension in this area. So keep on breathing. And again, it was a reminder that it's not important to reach the floor with your head, hand above the head. Do one more time each side. And then come all the way back with both arms. And we just want to bring the balls just a little bit further out and up, just a little bit. So you may be even not feeling a lot anymore when you bring the balls out and up because the shoulders are naturally curving away. Now we bring the arms down and now you want to walk your feet in. Push your feet into the floor, squeeze your glutes a little bit and just lift your hips up just as so much that you feel there's a little bit more pressure now towards the balls. You don't have to go all the way up. This can be a very lazy bridge. Breathing in and breathing out, palms facing down. Come all the way down, keep the balls in this position. Now bring your palms facing towards your body, push your feet, squeeze your glutes, come all the way up. Breathe in and breathe out. Lower your hips down. And now open your palms facing up to the floor. And open your arms out in a T position. I'm feeling I have to adjust my ball on the left side a little bit. And again, now with your arms out to the side, palms facing up, push your feet, use your glutes and lift your hips up. And you can feel that it may feel a little different. Each time we change the position of the arms, we're getting a little bit in a different area lower all the way down. Have one last movement. So you want to bring your arms up, palms facing. This time keep your palms or bring your palms facing away from you. The same when you had the arms in the first position alongside your body. Push your feet, squeeze your glutes and come all the way up. And see how far you want to go up. Notice how this feels different. And then lower all the way down. And take the balls out. Ooh. <laughs> They're really warm now. 
Breathing in and out. Straighten your legs. Just notice how your shoulders feel now. Like so. Maybe you're just happy the balls are away. Maybe you can really feel there is so much more freedom in the shoulders. Bring your arms up and behind your head and notice how easy you can position your arms now overhead. Maybe even can feel your arms are much closer to the floor, even with your legs straight. When you bend your legs, it even gets maybe a little bit more comfortable. The arms are going a little bit more down towards the floor. Now bring your arms all the way back. And we're going to end today's class with a nice relaxing position for the shoulders. So you want to use the blanket for this one. And you open the blanket in this position. That means I have the blanket folded two times. You place it in front of you. You fold it in one third of the way. And you just do a nice blanket roll. Roll it all the way up. And you want to bring this blanket roll on your yoga mat. And the place the blanket roll is going is the lower part of your shoulder blades. So you sit with your back facing the roll. And again, like we did the same with the balls, you first come down onto your forearms. So you really can feel, you can see my arms can easily reach above the blanket roll. So if you're being too far down, your arms are being on top of the blanket roll. This is not what you want to have. And if you want it too far up and you go down, even your shoulder blades are on the floor. This is what you want to have neither. So really find the position when you bring your arms out, your arms are on the floor. And when you lay all the way down, your shoulders are off the floor, especially the area at the end of your neck. There's enough space here. Your knees remain bent, so we find softness in the belly and in the hip muscles. And you just sink into this position, breathing in and breathing out. With each exhale, allow your shoulders to sink a little bit more towards the floor. Your eyes are closed. And you just stay here in stillness for a moment. It's time to leave when you hear my voice. A deep inhale and exhale and just roll over to one side and just lift yourself off just so far that you can take the roll out to the side and come all the way back allow your legs to 
be straight your arms around about a 45 degree angle away from your body notice the connection between your shoulder blades and the floor notice the heaviness of your shoulders how nicely your head is now resting on the floor without even using any kind of pillow or anything just for a short longer while here in stillness and then I guide you out of the pose Shavasana Slowly start to deepen your breath. Feel free if you have a little bit more time just to stay a little while longer. You can never stay too long in Shavasana. Just for the purpose of time, I end this video for now. So if you want to get up with me, just start shaking your legs, moving your head from side to side. Start stretching your arms, stretching your legs. And slowly take one leg in, take the other leg in. Maybe you want to move your hips a little bit from side to side. Just roll over one side. Just stay for a moment here in the sideline position. Maybe you can still feel the increased flow of energy, circulation in your shoulders, especially the area between the shoulder blades. Come all the way up. Find the seated position. Place your hands on your heart. And place your palms together, thumbs resting on your sternum. Let's chant one ohm at the end of class. Take a deep inhale. Exhale to soften your shoulders. Inhale to chant.
your forehead towards your fingertips. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for taking the time practicing with me. Thank you to yourself for taking the time to take care of your shoulders. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave me a comment. How did your shoulders feel? How was it for you? And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button. Each time I'm uploading a new video, you will get an information. I would love to have you here in my channel. I like to share my love for yoga with you. And also leave me a comment if there's anything you want to see on the channel. So I can really make videos that help you to feel better in your body. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.